I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with Juno Award winning musician Correction. How did growing up in Jamaica inspire your music? Well, um, growing, coming from Trenton, Jamaica, we always um, have the, that location as the branded as um, the University of Reggae Music. Uh, we have a lot of pioneers, musicians that uh, came out of um, Trenchtown. So growing up in Trenchtown, I've been got the influence about, around Bob Marley because I used to live close to Bob Marley, so I'm, uh, we always have that influence. And Noel Ellis and a couple other artists such as, you know, you, you have the the i3s you also have um the um you know it just right now just so many artists just bubbling in my head it's unbelievable but again growing up in trench town give it's just an experience um you have to actually be in it to understand the experience that you can actually get um, to be grown up in trench town. But um, more or less the streets, um, the streets raised me, so therefore my, my songs um, actually depict and dedicate it to the people I'm from the streets, you know, the ghettos, as well as, um, you know, the poverty stricken people, you know, just to have a voice out there to help them on their plight of survival. So, yeah, that's what reggae music is all about to me, actually, growing up. What was it like winning a Juno Award and also being nominated for several others as well? Well, it's um, it gives me an uh, an experience and give me the um, the the doors. The actually the and now, before I even answer that, they always say before um, before winning a Juno or a major award is that the door is always kept kept closed. Mm -hmm. So in other words, when you knock on the door, the per person would ask, "Who is it?" you know, who is it, who are you, type of thing. But winning a Juno Award now, when you knock on the door, the guy says, who is it? That's like Juno Award winner correction. Now you get the opportunity for the door to open. Yeah. Not fully open, but tilt or crack. So now it's up to you now to actually to try kick the door open or somehow to get that door open. So um, winning the Juno Award gives me an opportunity, and I don't know about everyone else, but for me, gives me an opportunity to actually express myself better and as well as um, you know, more people accept um, what I do, as well, along with listen to um, the opportunity that what I can deliver for them. What was it like recently being in the Bob Marley documentary? Ah, that was amazing, actually. Um, it gives me a, uh, a large audience because um, originally when I knew, when I heard about it, actually, um, that I that video actually was out is someone from Amsterdam actually communicated with me, say, hey, I just came from the movie theater, not even on VHS or DVD. I actually went to the movie theater and actually saw this. I'm like, saw what? He said, well, I saw you performing in a documentary. I'm like, okay, really? I never knew that big. Then actually got released in Canada here and I actually went to a couple red carpet affairs and it was huge, hugely accepted. It's been crazy from then on. We went to Jamaica. Jamaica did extremely well as well as in the States. So um, yeah, the movie itself, Marley. So if you haven't watched Marley as yet, check out Marley, um, the new do documentary about Bob Marley and his life. What are you most looking forward to for performing at TD Irie Music Week? Well, as usual, the people I'm, um, you know, expect um, always positiveness, always love, because I love to sing about ladies, you know, <laughs> so definitely for sure. And as well as, um, you know, give the experience, a trench down experience, as well as um, what's happening in Toronto as well, too. You know, you have the combination of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So it's um, give a, a, a great um you know, presentation, actually. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everyone who, who are listening, you know, come check it out, because Ari uh, Music Fest this year is going to be chaos. And, you know, my name is Correction, so I'm here to correct the what? The chaos. And the spelling of correction originally was is not norm. It's not C-O-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N, actually. It is K-O-R-E-X-I-O-N. Mm -hmm. So, cor in, in, actually, in... in, um, in in Montreal, they call it Correction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind your most recent album? Well, the recent album um, titled With Your Love, it's actually a um, combination of uh, about 13 tracks, um, singles, um, that I color combined everything together into one, um, one, one album. 
I recently released a new song named How Great Thou Art off the album. I was in Jamaica on tour and um, I did a song with a gentleman by the name of Potential Kid. And the song itself is doing extremely well, was number one for the last four weeks in Toronto. So uh, we're hoping that we can do a music video for it and do a, a grand tour, you know, just to push it a little bit further, um, not only in Canada, but also around the world. And where is the best place to find out more information on you online? Oh, perfect. Well, you can always Google, correction again, K-O-R-E-X-I-O-N. You can purchase my tunes on iTunes, as well as Reverb Nation, slash correction, K-O-R-E-X-I-O-N. You can YouTube me, Twitter me, my face me, Reverb me. You can, you know, bottom line, <laughs> just Google correction and you get all the details. Again, K-O-R-E-X-I-O-N. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations on your Juno win and all of your success. And best of luck here at TD Music Week. Well, thank you very much, Katie, for the opportunity for this interview. And as well, big up RP management. My management team, they're doing extremely well as well for me and with me as well uh, to take me to a next level. And big up Cornerstone, they're my production unit here in Toronto. So I want to say thank you for everyone, especially the Ari Fest, Music Fest um, organization for, you know, giving me, giving me the opportunity to be on this year's um, festival. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.